What is going on guys? It is Parker here bringing y'all another video. In today's video, we have a comparison of the SCAR ZVX and the VXF. Both two of SCAR's big old beefy boy subs. So we're gonna do a full head-to-head -head comparison and see which one you should get. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I've been looking forward to making this video for y'all. Of course, comparing these two big old subs. I've been testing both of these out for quite a while and have really enjoyed them and have kind of got to see where each one does well and where each one maybe does not do so well. So if you were thinking of wanting to get a bigger SCAR sub and these were two of your picks, hopefully this video will help you all out decide which one you want to get. Have a little cheat sheet right here. Just has all the specs of both of them so we can compare and contrast. And then I'm just gonna show some videos of each of them playing. And then we're gonna show the uh, DB test and the musical RMS test just so y'all can kind of see how they perform. All right, guys, let's get right into it. First off, guys, let's just get a quick look up at these boys. Both just big old heavy, beefy subs. Definitely both very impressive looking. This has a little bit more of a kind of a stocky, thick look to it. Whereas this is more of that kind of sundown, like longer look to it. Of course, these are both 12 inch versions. Here, of course, is the price. The ZVX is another 60 bucks over the VXF. They both are 1500 watts RMS. Both have three inch coils. The motor is about the same size on both. Now, some places say 306, some say 315 for the motor on this guy. Not really sure which is true. And then on the website, it says 44 hertz. On the manual that came with the box, I think it said 50 hertz. So kind of weird there. Of course, the frequency response here is 30 to 40 hertz, whereas we have 22 to 250 hertz here. So this guy likes it to get a little bit lower. And then the sensitivity, 83.7 dB and 87.1 dB. And then over here for the X-Max, this guy, of course, has the bigger X-Max at 29 millimeters, as opposed to a still pretty impressive 25 millimeters over here. And then they both have a two-year warranty. So we'll start with uh, this guy. At the top, one of the things I don't really like about this sub is that it has a super flimsy dust cap, whereas this one over here is pretty stiff. This guy has a fatter Mega Roll surround on it. This thing is really beefy. This one's thinner, but it's still pretty beefy. They both have very stiff cones. Both have similar gaskets around here. Both, of course, double stitched. Moving down to here, one of the big differences is the basket. This has a longer basket that really allows for some better excursion, as opposed to this guy with the standard TI frame basket. Again, just a little bit shorter then this guy you see this basket on several sundown subs moving along from there uh looks like they both have dual spiders however these ones the two spiders are very close to each other whereas over here you have one up here and one down here and they're a little bit further away but still both pretty close either way haven't had an issue with them now for the tinsel leads this guy has the two round tinsel leads whereas the vxf has just a single flat tinsel lead going across there. I would imagine these probably could take a little bit more power. It looks like there's just more uh, wire there, but both decently similar. Now, one nice thing is the way these are made. Didn't have to worry about um, them getting in the way while it was moving with the motor um, over skirting and slapping on anything. So that was really good. And then they both have these big old, huge, beefy terminals. You could probably fit six gauge in both of these pretty easily. Uh, I do like these a little better. They are a little bit more spaced apart. Whereas these are actually kind of super close. You could short something out kind of easily if you weren't being careful. You can kind of see underneath the spider underneath from here. The uh, gluing and everything looks nice. Haven't had any issues with either of these coming apart at all. Now, one really, really big difference that I have noticed is that 
The VXF over here has a copper coil. And it's got the smaller, just um, regular round coils with the uh, just the clear glue on them. Whereas, guys, over here, I believe it's, a, I'm not sure if it's a copper or aluminum coil, but it's a big, thick square wire, and it does have the uh, high heat black glue on it, guys, and that uh, this is an American-made coil. Not sure if it's a PE coil or what, but either way, guys, I love this coil. has given me zero, zero issues. Not that this guy's given me any issues either, but I have pushed this guy harder, and I just really don't feel like I have to worry about it whatsoever. Now, of course, they both have plenty of venting. This has got venting through here and pole venting and center venting down here. Where, of course, this guy's totally open, so you get plenty of venting there. And then we got pole and center venting as well. Now, these both have pretty similar size motors, but this guy is a shorter and wider motor. Whereas this guy is just a deeper motor but it's also more condensed. So again, just kind of the look they were trying to go for there. But other than that, both very similar size. Of course, this one has a little cooler uh, cover over the motor. Just looks really, really cool. Whereas this one is just plain. So yeah, guys, that is really is the overview of it. Well, guys, that is the overview of the subs. Just so you can see all the specs and see the build quality and whatnot. Let's get into some testing course music so you can see and hear how it sounds and then db test and rms test so you guys get ready for that going to be awesome and then after that i'm going to give my opinions on it and let you know my personal opinion on which one i like the best and then maybe it can help you decide which one you will like the best so definitely stay tuned for that guys anyway let's get into it <laughs>
guys, as you saw there, both subs really seem to perform very well. I would say the 1500 watts RMS power is a good rating, definitely not overrated as far as a musical standpoint. Now, if you could put a test tone on these and go for a full three and a half minutes, I don't know, guys. I would imagine the ZVX might be able to do it, but since the uh, coil on the VXF is just not quite as good, I don't know if I think it would make it through a full three and a half minutes on a straight 40 hertz test tone, but I haven't tested it, guys, so who knows? Maybe it could. Anyway, guys, again, they both did really well, though. They both can take power, get loud, and put out some good numbers. Now, that being said, they both definitely have their place. The ZVX, definitely more about taking raw power and getting loud. If you're doing an SPL build, that's what I would go with. Has great X-Max and can take some power, no problem. That being said, when it comes to quality of music, guys, it's actually really not good at all. Doesn't hit those low notes. This doesn't really sound great playing everyday music. It sounds fine and like nothing wrong with it, but if you're really looking for something that has some great quality, it's probably not the sub you're gonna wanna go with, guys. Just letting y'all know. Again, it's not bad. Personally, I like it. I don't have a great ear for like hearing quality and stuff, but I know some people that do. So if you're really about just having great quality, you know, almost like movie theater quality or something like that, not the sub you're gonna wanna go with, which is fine. That's why we have this sub over here, the VXF. It is much, much better when it comes to quality. It gets really, really low, sounds really good, and then throughout the bass, you know, kind of hertz spectrum, guys, overall, it just sounds a lot better from a quality uh, standpoint. Hits those notes better, just sounds crisper overall. And I mean, you could, you know, have watch a movie in here or something and it would really get some of those notes really, really well. Whereas the ZVX just isn't quite going to do that, guys. So that is my opinion. Now, personally, I just like kind of a big, beefy, raw sub. So if it was me, I'd probably go with the ZVX. Maybe not for the extra 60 bucks. Not sure if it's worth that. But it is a bigger, beefier sub. I do love the coil of it. I love the peace of mind I get using it. Don't got to worry about coil going out on me or anything like that so that's personally what i think i would go with so just letting y'all know guys of course let me know in the comments what you would pick and why again both great subs i've enjoyed both of them so you all let me know stay tuned gonna be making a video soon going over the best 300 dollars sub of course we're gonna have this guy in it american bass hd maybe the sound cubed hdx i think it's the hdx3 and a couple others so stay tuned for that guys it's gonna be an awesome video coming up here soon anyway guys there will be links in the description so you can pick up both of these subs they are affiliate links so should you purchase them through those links it helps out the channel a great deal i get a teeny bit of a commission from that which helps me uh, buy more stuff to review for y'all just right here guys we have 500 dollars worth of equipment that i paid for out of pocket so y'all liking commenting and y'all Clicking on those links and buying stuff through those links helps me out a bunch. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the next video.